come to Norwich, home to Alan Partridge, stomping ground of Delia Smith, and of course, local horn to that fantastic local celebrity chef. What's his name? It's a... Um... Hi, Ollie. It's Galton Blackiston. Let's head out on Wine Patrol. With Claude's magical monkfish, a rich white is the top drop to bring some colour to those cheeks. Now, you could go for a Pinot Gris from New Zealand, such as this from Waimea, with its plump texture great for linking up with the meaty monkfish. However, taken all together, Claude's dish is a celebration of earthy autumn bounty, so I'm selecting a more savoury sip with Gieson Marlborough Chardonnay. Lap it up! Marlborough in New Zealand is rightly famous for its Sauvignon Blanc, but I've increasingly found examples of Chardonnay like this one with some elegance. The reason is the vineyards are surrounded by the ocean, and it's that maritime freshness that inspires winemakers to create Chardonnay like this with a bit of finesse. Ooh, there's a truffly aroma and a creamy character here, perfect for picking up on the fluffy chickpea pancake and also those autumnal mushrooms. And then, of course, there's that gentle zip. It's nimble and bright, and that's exactly what I'm looking for to spark off the salty character coming from the ham. And finally, the monkfish itself. This Chardonnay is broad and glossy, and it's perfect for a frolic with the fish. Claude, here's to your magnificent monkfish. Cheers! Cheers.